"'Twas the night before Christmas, and all through the house. Not a creature was stirring, not even a mouse. The stockings were hung by the chimney with care, and hoped that St. Nicholas would soon be there. The children were nestled all snug in their beds, while visions of sugar plums danced in their heads. As Mom and her in a kerchief, and me in my cap, had just settled our brains for a long winter's nap. When out on the lawn there arose such a clatter, I sprang from my bed to see what was the matter. Away to the window I flew like a flash, tore open the shutters and threw up the sash. The moon on the breast of a new-fallen snow gave the luster of midday to objects below. When what to my wondering eyes should appear but a miniature sleigh and eight tiny reindeer with a little old driver so lively and quick, why, I knew in a moment it must be St. Nick. More rapid than eagle is his course as they came, as he whisked and shouted and called them by name. Now Dasher, now Dancer, now Prancer and Vixen, on Comet, on Cubit, on Donder and Blitzen, to the top of the porch, to the top of the wall. Now dash away, dash away, dash away all. As dry leaves that before the wild hurricane fly, when they meet with an obstacle, mount to the sky. So up to the housetop the courses they flew, with a sleigh full of toys, and St. Nicholas too. And then in a twinkling I heard on the roof the prancing and pawing of each little hoof. As I drew my head and was turning around, down the chimney came St. Nicholas with a bound. He was dressed all in fur from his head to his foot, and his clothes were all tarnished with ashes and soot. A bundle of toys he flung on his back, and he looked like a peddler just opening his sack. His eyes, how they twinkled, his dimples, how merry. His cheek were like roses, his nose like a cherry. His droll little mouth was drawn up like a bow, and a beard on his chin, t'was as white as the snow. With a stump of a pipe he held tight in his teeth, and the smoke encircled his head like a wreath, and he had a broad face with a round little belly that shook when he laughed like a bowl full of jelly. He was chubby and plump, a right jolly old elf, and I thought when I threw him, saw him, <laughs> in spite of myself, and a wink of his eyes and a twist of his head soon gave me to know that I had nothing to dread. He spoke not a word, but went straight to work, and filled all those stockings, and turned with a jerk, laying his fingers aside of his nose, and giving a nod, up the chimney he rose. He sprang to his sleigh, to his team gave a whistle, and away they all flew, like the down of a thistle. But I heard him exclaim, as he rode out of sight, Merry Christmas to all, and to all, Good night.